What's up guys? I hope y'all enjoyed that last video I did we talking about the GMRS repeater. Now I figured we'll talk more about the radio. This is the radio I use. This is the KG935G from Wuxin. Pronounced Wuxin. They say it's actually Ocean or Woshin. I don't know. Here's the radio. This is what it looks like. It is a great, awesome little radio. I have zero issues with it. And actually, I incredibly love this radio. This radio replaced this radio for me. This is the Baofeng UV5G, which is a good radio. Like I said, that repeater's two miles from me right now. This radio is dark, let's see. Seems like we hit it pretty well. Let's see if this one hits it. Both radios do the same thing. Both are fine. Both are actually popping through a brick wall right now and still hitting a repeater that's two miles away and receiving signal. They both do pretty much the exact same thing. Both have lock buttons. Both are programmable. Both can scan through other things. These radios do the same thing. This one was two radios for 50 bucks. This one was 150 bucks. The only big issue with these are, I believe this one picks up better when I'm out in the mountains. I have had times that I'm talking on this one and this one has not made a sound. Now, this one, the circuitry is really cheap. This one, the circuitry is a little bit more expensive. The buttons feel better, stuff like that. This one just feels better when you hold it. Now, here's your size difference. Look at that. I do like the size difference on this one. This radio may do better if I put this antenna on it. I don't know. Issue that you run into with that is can't really compare it because this one is SMA female with an SMA male antenna. This one is SMA female with an S or SMA female on the antenna and SMA male on the radio. So not compatible. I'm not really sure why Bayofang did that, but they did. So let's get these back on here. But we're not talking about this one. So we're gonna go ahead and cut him off. We're talking about this one. So let's get y'all kind of zoomed in so you can see. So let's look. If I key it up right now, we're on the top, the top channel, which is my repeater. If we're keyed up right now, we're on my repeater and WR. Right there. You saw the squelch tail come back. This has been an awesome little radio. This thing literally lives in my truck. I've got three of them right now. I'm getting ready to order a fourth one. They just came out with a new one, which is the KG93 Plus. Has some extra features on it. Has a USB charging system, which I think I'm gonna use and leave that in my wife's Jeep. Cause she doesn't want a permanent radio in her Jeep, but she would like something that she can get in contact with us with. But I may still put a permanent radio in there because I like to put a 50 watt in there just in case wherever somewhere that extra power would be nice. Like I said, this radio has been awesome. Bulletproof, um, I don't believe it's not, it's somewhat waterproof, rain, stuff like that. It hasn't hurt it yet. I haven't killed it. Um, I don't think it's submersible. I don't think you can do that. Battery replaces really easily. Just a button on the back. I, uh, I think I have two extra batteries. I just keep going. Battery comes out. It is a, what is it, 3200 milliamp hour battery. And it, like I said, it's been awesome. I have all my local ham repeaters programmed into this. Now I can't talk to them, but I can listen to them. Which kind of has its benefits. I really wish there was a way to unlock this radio so that I could talk to the ham guys just in case, let's say we're out hurt and there's no one listening to GMRS that day. I'm in the woods broken with a broken leg and I need to talk to someone. My cell phone doesn't work. I can't go anywhere, I'm stuck. So unless there's someone listening on my GM GMRS repeater, no one is gonna know about it. So it'd be really nice if you could unlock these and I could get on that ham repeater and say, help, I need help, this is where I'm at. But as far as I know, the FCC doesn't want that, so. We'll go from there. I do think this one picks up better. Now, does it pick up as well as like my truck radio? No, me and my daughter went out and did a test last night with it. I had her talking on the truck radio and I walked about 30 yards away from her with this, nothing. Could not hear anything. Every once in a while it would pop through with a little bit of static, but couldn't get anything. 
I could key this up and she had full bars across the truck radio. So these don't pick up as, they don't pick up as well as a truck radio, but it does pick up fairly well. Here you did see it. We are hitting that repeater out there. Yep, still full bars. Like I said, throw a brick wall. So if you want to pick one up, I don't get anything for this. These aren't paid reviews. I have no affiliation with any of these companies. Uh, I think buy2wayradios.com is the only place you can get this one right now. So I'll throw a link down to them in the bottom. They don't know I'm making this video. Like I said, I get nothing for it, but they are easy to deal with. I have called them. They're the ones that helped me set up that repeater, helped me get the coax that I needed, helped me with an antenna that I had. All the issues that I had with putting that repeater up, they were the ones that helped me out, and they were really good guys. So go ahead, help them out. They're a local company. I think they're in South Carolina, so they, they were really close to me. I order stuff from them. It's like a couple days shipping. Some other things that I want to talk about with this radio. Let's get kind of the size of it. I know you can't really tell because of my head, but everybody knows inches. So from the tip of the radio to the bottom, right at 13 inches altogether. And across we are two and a half. So right at two and a half across the radio. So not terribly big. Like I said, I wish this antenna was shorter just because when we go hunting, I stick it right here. And this is actually right about there the whole time, which is really close to hitting in the eye. So that's one thing I don't like, which I think they make a shorter antenna, but from where we live in the mountains, shorter antennas aren't always better. Um, some other simple stuff, there's some buttons you can play with, some different things like that. You can program to do a ton of different things. You just have to watch some of these other people that have other videos on it. I, I don't get into the nitty gritty about it. So this radio is chirp capable now. I didn't realize that till the other day when I tried to get, I deleted the Wooks and stuff off my computer and I plugged this in the chirp, it worked great, no issues. So this radio is chirp compatible now. I know when I first got it, it was not chirp compatible. This one I think is my oldest radio and it's a little over six months old. Like I said, it rides around my truck. It goes hunting with me. It goes camping. It's in a ton of my camping videos. This one's been great. Um, this radio I think is about a year old. Like I said, no real issues with it. The battery life is terrible on these. Battery life, I can go all day talking on it all day, not really have an issue. This one's been on since yesterday and it's only used 25% of the battery. So, like I said, highly recommend it. If you're looking for a good radio, go ahead and pick one up. So if you like what you saw in the video and you wanna kinda of help support us, a lot of the stuff in this video, not everything like the repeaters and the radio, stuff like that, but some of the coaxes and antennas and stuff are in our Amazon store. So we do get a small commission off the stuff from our Amazon store. It doesn't cost you a dime. It actually is taking a little bit of money away from Amazon and they give it to us to help us with promoting their products. So that's kind of how that works. 100% transparent with you on that. If you like that video, go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And like always, take someone outdoors.